Got home from Costco. Jason's loading up my sodas into my little fridge, even though they've been here in a garage for a week. <laughs> Thank you for loading that. Say that again, hon. I said, wasn't this a great present? Yes, it was. Was that last year or the year before? I think it was the year before. Yeah. You're really dark. Sometimes. I don't know. I don't know. He's saying that because his little trunk organizer in his trunk, I had just told him, isn't that such a great present? because we had it filled with all our stuff from Costco and from Cash and Carry. We've been gone all morning. Didn't really take you along because it didn't seem that earth shattering. This is what we got from Costco. Um, I'll kind of maybe explain a few things. We also went to Cash and Carry, got some bagels, some Hawaiian rolls. Um, we are learning Cash and Carry is not a necessarily cheaper place. This bottle of ranch seasoning, which I got because I'm I use it in my Hawaiian chicken all the time and thought I would just get the bottle of it versus like the packets. This bottle at Cash and Carry was $10 and I thought, oh, but if I don't get it here and, and Costco was more expensive, then I'll regret getting it. $10 for two of these at Costco. So angry and, and Cash and Carry is like 30 minutes away from us. <laughs> we also got Clorox Beach bleach at Cash and Carry and these little, what do you call these, crunch tortilla shells. We're gonna do the crunch wrap supremes for one of our dinners this week. Not tonight though, tonight we're doing the Halloween, it's Halloween day, by the way. We're gonna do the Halloween um, pumpkin pizzas from Papa Murphy's. They're in the fridge outside, and my rewards gave me a free s'mores dessert, which we are not going to eat tonight. I'm gonna to save that for tomorrow night or the next night. We shall see, but um, here, I want to show you some things that we got at Costco that you know, if you've been watching for a while, you know that this has been one of my pet peeves at Costco and they just redeemed themselves. Okay, it's not these two. We got some grapes to set out for snacks tonight, a little healthier version of snacks. Um, we're also going to put some peppers out and some dip and maybe crackers and cheese kind of a thing. We also got some hot cocoa mix and some of these disposable cups with the lids back there. I like to have them for the holidays anyway, but they didn't have a holiday. I mean, I guess this is like holly berry. I don't know. But the kids all agreed, the, especially the older kids, they all agreed it would be nice to have these to take to high school in the mornings as the mornings are cold. So we're going to make a little hot cocoa bar. Not today, but I have put the hot cider in this jar right here. So I might, I might just add some of the hot cocoa to this. That way they can get it. That way they can access it. So we'll see. The Nutella is not supposed to be here, but it's <laughs> used so much that, um, although this is like, maybe that's too heavy. Maybe I'll have to move that. Okay, then we got three things of blueberries. These will not last us more than a few days. That's fine and they're good for you. Got some raspberries, got a block of cheese. Now, look at this people. Costco finally did it. They finally did a pack of cream cheese and it's just six packages i'm gonna like I'm, let's make sure oh my goodness this is amazing this is amazing because cream cheese does last a while if you can keep it contained so we go through a whole pack of cream cheese per package of bagels okay so one of those per well maybe not these little guys i don't think we'll do a whole whole tub of it but the regular size bagels will go through a whole tub of cream cheese okay this is amazing. I can put all five of those into the fridge outside and store those. Ah, oh, this is so amazing. I don't have to go to the store. And it, this is so much cheaper than buying each of these individually at the grocery store. Way better deal. So I'm very happy. And that literally just made my day at Costco. Otherwise, we went and got these little LED lights. I threw away the box already because the um, recycle guy was coming outside. It does come with a remote and these little clips that you can attach to the house. But Jason, he doesn't like attaching things to walls or the house unless he absolutely has to. So he, we're just doing something temporary for Halloween today. Let me show you what we've done outside so far. Okay, these little headstones don't stay up because the little they're cheap. They're from the dollar store. 
Okay, as, as you come out of the house onto the porch, we've attached all these cobwebs up high, and then there's like a little dollar store like spider web cobweb thingy up there. But then you can see like we've gotten it hung all the way across, and then this here, let me show you from the, we're gonna dangle it way more. We have it really kind of covering, covering, we have it coming down over the doorway so that when kids come to trick or treat, they kind of have to like walk past it or walk under it. I don't know, kind of spooky. Um, I'm really gonna try and drape these down, but, oh, it stuck to my finger. But it's also funny because we didn't have anywhere to tie this on and it was really windy last night. So Jason just stuck it on a little pumpkin, a little gourd. <laughs> So it's kind of our weight because these, we want them to blow in the wind. You can see that they're kind of blowing in the wind right now, which is super cool and kind of spooky. And when it's wind and like when it's windy and moody at night, but, um, we also needed to kind of weigh it down so that it allowed it to move without like flying away. And then you can see across our little walkway, the little sidewalk down there, we've strung this little strand of lights, just like the one I have from Costco and we can change the light color. We've been in this house 10 years and we've noticed over the years that because we kind of live up a hill and it's kind of like these little alleyway streets, kids don't come up because they can't see our porch lights from down the hill down there. You can't see it from down there. So we have to bring light out into the street and the sidewalk area in order for them to know that there's houses to come and trick or treat at. And as soon as we started doing that a couple years ago, we got flooded with kids, which is totally the game. Like, that's what I want. But our HOA got mad that I had a little string light set up beyond Christmas last year and got a little notice and said that I wasn't, I didn't have access to that tree because it's not on my property. Whatever. We're going to take it down tomorrow or the next day, but I'm going to keep it up for Halloween um, because it's perfect. It lights up the little sidewalk area, but then I'm going to make the porch moody with these lights. I just don't know where we're going to put them. We thought about wrapping them around this little pillar right here because we want the porch to have light so we don't have to turn the actual like uh, overhead light on or we then if we have extra then we'll wrap it around the little banister right here. Just not sure how we're going to do it but we got to get that set up before tonight. We are having our friends over that we have game nights with. We always go to their house. They don't have any kids left at home that are going to trick-or-treat and they don't get trick-or-treaters at their house because they live kind of off in the woods. And so they're going to come over and hang out with us. The husband will go out with Jason if Ashley wants him to go with her. But she kind of feels like she wants to be grown up and go on her own. So as long as she has a good group of kids to go out with, then we'll stay here at the house and play games. But also, um, Kaylee's boyfriend, his parents and his twin sisters said that they want to come trick-or-treat in our neighborhood because theirs is even more silly. It's like... They were like, this is too hard to trick or treat in our neighborhood. So they might come over here and we've invited the parents to come over and hang out if they want to, or if they get cold, or if Kaylee and Jacob want to take his sisters out, which I highly doubt, but if they want to come over and take a break and go to the bathroom, have a snack, they're more than welcome to. So we're just kind of getting things set up. Jason is out cleaning my car again because he knows that if he cleans his car, he needs to clean my car. So he's starting with my car. <laughs> Ashley got one little set of crumbs in his car and he already wants to vacuum it out again. He's a little obsessed, but that's okay because it's making things stay really clean. All right, while I'm cleaning out my fridge, it just occurred to me, I'm cleaning out the fridge and this is funny that he's walking in right now. I'm in here cleaning out the fridge and straightening up the kitchen and the bathroom because we're having guests over and we haven't really had guests over in like two and a half years aside from like teenagers and whatnot and Jason's out worrying about what the cars look like <laughs> like there's no one that's going to go in the cars it's just what he's fixated on and I'm making sure we have a good appearance here at home um also I forgot to tell you guys I got these sweaters at Costco um I think they're very similar to I have a black sweater from there from a couple years ago and it says, it has like a saying on it. I forget what it says, like smile more or like, I don't know. It says some little happy phrase on it, right? So I tried on some of those today when I was at Costco because I love, it has like a stretchy material to it. 
so they're comfy but they're not like super thick sweaters um they're just thick enough that like with a small like t-shirt underneath it um it's just enough to like run into target or not get too hot or but your sleeves are covered your arms are covered right forgetting all this food i need to put back in the fridge after cleaning it but um they're really cute let me show you here i'm gonna after i put away my uh groceries here i'm throwing away some rotten food and i'm making sure these don't go rotten so i'm gonna wash them all and get them all prepped um what else i think that's all i was gonna tell you let me well here let's just show you the sweaters really quick because they're really cute okay so i got this purple one but it's really really cute and i i don't know how to describe the material because it like stretches okay see how much it stretches and then the bottom has this cute little like split in the bottom right and that has like a thick band at the bottom it's just really cute and a nice little crew neck collar and then I got it's actually the same color shirt that I had on before um, but anyway I love those two colors it's the same color as this guy this is like my Ray Dunn good vibes oh that's what my other one says the black sweater that i have that's just like those ones says good vibes this is ray dunn this one is from hobby lobby no nah, this one is from home goods but the other one says good vibes as well but guess what i tried on an xx large 2x large and i was like okay well that fits me and normal me because i'm so accustomed to being in that size and i'm just putting myself out there because i don't care very obvious that I have a large chest and I have a stomach and a gut whatever but I was like I'm pretty used to having that be my size I'm being okay with that but I wonder if it's like my pants where I've lost weight and I wonder if I can go a smaller size so I tried the extra large on if it and again I would have just okay well that works but I was like yeah let's let's Play the game of going down one more size i tried the large i tried the large and it still fit it still fit could i have tried on the medium maybe but i didn't want it to stretch and be tight across so i got a large anyway proud of myself proud of the, like maybe the sizing is changing but i don't think it is i think i'm changing which is fantastic i told you he was cleaning his car how many times have you cleaned your car so far? Just once a week. Just once a week. I think my car normally gets cleaned out maybe once every quarter no. to six I months. To once a month. <laughs> Is it all clean now? Oh no. No? No, I still gotta like vacuum it from the other side. From over here. This is what he needs cleaned, you guys. No, no, I've already vacuumed it out. You already have? Then what else do you need to clean? Well, I need to vacuum from that angle. And then I need to wipe the doors down. And then I gotta, do the, front, then I gotta do the front seats. Okay. Look, I vacuumed this out. This goes on the floor in there. Okay. Are and you gonna are you gonna get the plastic uh, I liners? Weather tech is the best, yeah. Yeah. Happy Christmas. But, uh, <laughs> I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you. But I need it now. I need it now. No, what I'm saying is I don't need anything for Christmas. I'm I know. I'm to get you things for Christmas, but you keep buying all your stuff. Okay. All right. And in the last ditch effort to... <laughs> I was going to put this away. And then I was like, you know what? If people are going to come over, we'll uh, do a few decorations. So I've got a little orange and tan swag going on right there. And then I went ahead and decorated this little table really quick. Funny thing is, Kaylee and, not Kaylee, Chelsea and her friends came and used a lot of my decorations out on the front porch. Some of them got ruined because they're not meant to be outside, <laughs> but that's okay. But I just put up a cute little garland. I'm gonna light this candle, that's why I have a lighter in as my pointer. It's just gonna light this to get a little bit of festive mood going on up here. Just put out a few decorations, made a little pumpkin patch if you will right there my little 31 i don't know why the kids have put a little googly eye on there but whatever it works just a little festive table last minute okay we have our first trick-or-treater where's all your stuff what do you mean? where's all the necklace and stuff like that oh 
Out yeah. Here. Well, okay. All right. Take two. She's got the little necklace on now. Really loud. Tell us what the name of your character is. Runa. I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay, that's why you always say it really quiet. <laughs> and I never catch it. Well, no, it's just, well, it's, they have a last name, but I don't know how to pronounce it, so I never say it. I All right. Say okay, whatever. <laughs> All right. Here is her full costume, and you've got a cute little bag to go collect your goodies with. And you're going with your friend? Yeah. Um, since she has a phone, should we say check back in Nine, eight at the at first? Check eight, in at and eight, then I'll come home and, and then after that we'll assign a time. Okay, because they that's have an that's two and a half hours. I think you're gonna be fine. And I don't see too many people out here. Ooh, this guy's spooky. Okay, we've got our little mushroom. You look very cute. Step back. Let me get your photo. You look very good. Moment of silence. Okay, nice. go for it. Turn it on. Turn it on. <laughs> That's really cool. All right, let me see your costume. It's nothing really. Oh, it's good. Oh. All right. It's a clone. Okay. Yeah. All right, kids. Have fun trick or treating. <laughs> Are you just gonna turn it on to scare him? I don't know. I like red. You gotta figure out how to use it first. Okay, yeah. have fun. had fun our friends came over we were able to just sit and chat with them while wow. everyone you didn't go out you just went over to Evelyn's and then hung out upstairs right Kaylee yeah um, Abby wasn't feeling well tonight so she just sat and hung out with us and ironically Ashley is the last one out trick-or-treating Chelsea is I'm just gonna go outside because it's less glowy let me see if I can get well maybe it's more glowy out here I don't know why it's so orangey inside but anyway, um, I'm waiting out here because Ashley's gonna get walked home by the dads that are out with trick-or-treating with the younger kids. Um, Chelsea is actually just over at her friend's house. They were done trick-or-treating and they just wanted to hang out at the house and they wanted to like hang out till like 9.30 or 10. It's 8.30 now. And I was like, no, it's a school night, girl. This isn't like a hangout kind of a night. It's a push to let her stay at the friend's house until 8.30. But it's so funny that the nine-year-old is the last one to come home and my teenagers are home and Chelsea's already out of house. <laughs> These little kids are hardcore. Um, but anyway, we had a lot of fun. We literally only have like 10 pieces of candy left, which is perfect. And you, see, you can maybe kind of hear, um, there's no one left out here. Like it's nice that it's a school night and let's see if I can catch Ashley coming back up. I can hear him now. I think they're the last little bunch of kids out here. Let me see if I can find them. So Chelsea's down there. Can't hear, you can't see anything. Go inside. There she is. That's yeah. Ashley's not even home yet, but Ugh. Matt is bringing her back. And I have. Let me to see go how on. much you have. You're not gonna sort it tonight. You need to go to bed. Do you need to shower? Or are you okay? Probably. Then you need to hurry. Cause, well, Kaylee's actually gonna. Holy moly. Okay, so you can't have anything. Like big yeah, the whole size. Okay, you you're not. No, I'm okay. But you did good. It's just time to get ready for bed. Can you hang this costume up? Yeah. Or actually, should we just put it into a baggie? Let's put it into a baggie so we can save the whole costume. I can just hang it up in my closet. No, I'm just gonna put it into a Ziploc bag so we can save the costume so okay. it doesn't like get ruined. All right. Okay. All right. I tried to scare Ashley and the camera wasn't working. I kind of got you. Did I scare you? You were the last one home. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. I, was at my I know. I didn't know that you had stopped at a house. I was like, how is she still out? Okay, but it is official. We are turning everything off. No. We are we are done. No. no, we're done. We're turning off all the lights. They already turned off the music. No, we're done. Turn out the light. It's we're done. 
We are done officially. Charles, we're going to trade tomorrow. You can't, yeah, tomorrow we're going to trade. No. Take out the ones you don't want right now. Go get your pajamas on and I'll talk to you about it later. Pajamas and eat dinner. Chelsea, why am I putting it in the bag? What are you doing? Are you trying to scare? No! Yeah, you are. You should go to bed because your camera's blurry. <laughs> no, it's not blurry. It's almost out of battery, which means it's time for you to go to bed and ignore all the group chats from your friends right now. It's probably safe. It's Ella. She's probably saying all the candy. I want pajamas on. Come eat your bagel and your grapes and your veggie pouch, and then we're going to bed. No. Nope. Yes. We are signing off with you guys. Hope you had a good Halloween, whether it was noisy and rambunctious and lots of knock knocks or if it was quiet and content and no one came to your door either one is perfectly fine hope you have a, oh my gosh are they trying to, did they get you i sprayed them <laughs> we've been trying to scare him anyway happy holiday happy halloween and now we have thanksgiving coming up we are in the full holiday mode now um we had a great night hope you did too take care the magic places in the world I've been to this is where my heart is oh you know it's true no matter where I go I'm coming home to you